82nd Hardy Cup is set to kick off here on the Canada West Football Showcase. It had been blocked and ran for a first down, so here Stenger can't get it off free. It's into the air, and he goes to try to get it, and it's like Colton Klaas, who always seems to be around the football, comes up with it, but nonetheless, Adam Snagger in the offense set up. I was wondering if it was Alex Basilis who got his hands on that one as well. He did the job last week. Excellent field position for Sinegra. He likes to strike quick. This one intercepted just inside the 25 by the Huskies. Hagerty, Josh Hagerty intercepts the first pass of the day from Adam Sinegra. And how's that for a momentum swing in the opening minutes? He'll hand it off to Chow. Huge hole up the middle. Chow's going to cut it up to midfield, and that's where he will eventually be wrapped up by Dean Leonard, but another big pickup, and Tyler Chow is eating up yards here early. Big sack on that first and five, leaves them second and ten now, the ball on the Calgary, 54, pressure coming up the middle, Seaman sees it, sends it down the field, Colton Clawson, he's got it! Clawson maintains the ball, pushing ahead, he will not be stopped! Gets it down just inside the one, there's the big play! as well, but Colton Clawson, how about those yards after the catch? Holy smokes. Here is Nias. Up under center, will he keep it again? No, this time they'll hand it off to Colton Clawson and Clawson for the touchdown! Huskies on top with the first touchdown of the game, and why not a creative little handoff to Colton Clawson, and the man who got you there finishes the job off. Enter Josiah Joseph in at quarterback again for the Dinos. And this time they'll hand it off to Antwi. Antwi looking for the end zone. He's got it. Touchdown, Dinos. Just run Antwi taking it home. And an answer from Calgary after the Huskies had taken the lead. And game on at McMahon. Every other play we're talking about those guys touching the football. Siemens gets it to Clawson again. He's upended but hangs onto the ball at the 30. A highlight reel reception there from Colton Clawson. Stanger, three of four last week, including, of course, a game winner. And this one is hammered home, and that will put the Huskies back on top. Uh, that on the earlier touchdown run, too. Sinegra this time intercepted! It's picked off, and it'll be taken back by Lacombo! He'll dive towards the end zone and be taken down at the one. Nelson Lacombo steps underneath the receiver and picks off Sinegra, who's now thrown two INTs in the first half. What a huge swing late in the second quarter of this football game. And now they'll hand it off to Chow, and he takes it home. Tyler Chow with a touchdown, and the Huskies' lead continues to grow. 17-8, the visitors on top. Munching drive here from the Huskies as they have slowly worked their way down the field. They have a three-point lead, second and 19 now. Siemens down the sideline, and that one intercepted at the two. Dean Leonard got underneath that ball, and the Calgary defense with their biggest play of the ball game. Well, he's got a lot of field to work with here as Calgary will begin this drive on their own one. Now Sinegra intercepted just inside the 15. Oh my goodness! Sinegra throws it over the middle and Thomas Whiting is there for the taking. A hat trick of pits for Sinegra, the conference player of the year. Easy interception there for Thomas Whiting. Now can the Huskies answer? Tyler Chow getting to the outside! His second of the game, and Saskatchewan makes Sinegra pay as they continue to grow their lead midway through the third quarter. How about this? So Jesse Kuntz, who was injured after the interception, had to be out for three plays. They get the interception, that's one play. He goes back in wow. there after the second play, and that's not a change of possession thing, I guess. It doesn't obviously no, reset it's be in that three situation. plays, and that takes the Tyler Chow touchdown oh. run off the board and puts them in a first and 20. Holy smokes. What a swing of events here. Now, the good news for the Huskies is they are sitting here at 
the 23, but Justin pointed out, first and 20 now. So instead of a touchdown, they're sitting first and 20 because Koontz was on the field, having not sat out for three plays. Now Siemens, he'll keep it. He'll look to the 10-yard line. That's complete. And that's a big pickup there. First catch of the day for Joey Trumpy. And goal from the 10. Siemens with some time. Gets it away. Touchdown, Huskies, as he hammers it into the hands of Carter Dole. And after all of that, Saskatchewan back in the end zone and once again pushes their lead to nine. Nico DeFonte, I'm not sure if he's ever made a kick this big. 59-yarder <laughs> to win the game last year. This one, I saw him hit from here in warm-up. It'll be a 45-yarder. DeFonte's kick is up. And it is good. They get it done in the big title games with the game on the line. Let's see what Sinagra's got. Here's Sinagra quickly, far side. That'll be a completion. And that'll be taken up to the 45. Ball pops loose. Who's got it? The Huskies. The Huskies come up with the ball off a drop on the far side of the field. And this big play defense comes through again. First and 10 from the 23 for Siemens. We'll give it to Chow again. This hole's even bigger. Tyler Chow, touchdown again. Tyler Chow takes it home and the Huskies waste no time. And they open up their lead to double digits. Stanger sets up for a 42-yarder. That would extend the lead for the Huskies. To 18, Stanger's kick is up. And this time it is good. A huge kick from Stanger. <laughs> but they're keeping us on the air. Here's a look from Sinegra. And that one intercepted again. And that might be the final nail in the coffin for the Dinos, a fourth interception. The crowd from Saskatchewan who has came with this team on their feet, Adam Mackhart to the end zone, and that will do it for the Saskatchewan Huskies. Scott Flory, a champion in his second season, and he can feel it now. As this clock will tick down on the 82nd Hardy Cup, and undefeated no more. It is a Hardy Cup upset for the Huskies. And for the first time since 2006, Saskatchewan proving to be the best in the West.